And hey Edwards, one, two, three, good day and welcome to the stream. So so yeah, as I said, we, we could have emptied it, but we'd have got this far. Actually, we'd have got a little bit further, but we wouldn't have made it all the way around. So we'd still have to come down here and then figure out how to turn the tractor around. I think we're going to play in the trees. Now, as with many of the mods, I'm not sure if this mod is set up to limit maximum weight or whether it just has too small a capacity to reach maximum weight. Um, the class trailer we were using earlier has a capacity greater than its maximum weight so if you put heavy product in the back of it you can only fill it part way you can never fill it full volume but this trailer I've never had an issue filling full volume uh, or not filling full volume and reaching its maximum weight but it could mean that the chassis is greater than a much greater weight capacity Ooh. we are however noticing the weight of this trailer even with our 247 horsepower here We're just going to drop this in the yard for now. Um, we'll worry about selling it after the harvest is complete. Obviously I want the harvester off the farm as soon as possible. Because it's costing us money by the hour. And, oh, turn that in a little tight there. Exceptionally high tip. I'm not totally familiar with all the cell points on this map, so I'm not sure if that's going to be an issue with this tipper. I know for Oakfield Farm, a lot of the tippers I ran, I was using the rear grain door because it tends to limit the tip angle to about 45 degrees. guess we're probably going to get two more trailers from this field before I start running rows. Oh, another surprise for me this week. I, I really wasn't expecting it. One of the uh, YouTube farmers I watch um, generally doesn't wrap their bales. They... Uh, uh, hang on while I think about what buttons I'm pressing here. Um, they generally bale for hay. Um, and they bale sorghum for hay as well and any silage they do is usually a corn um, forage harvest but this year because the farmer has he's, he's gone in this week I think for knee surgery um, so he had to get this latest cut in and done so he partially dried it out running a tedder, but then some of the local farmers came in to help him bale it up and they wrapped it and they used what we have in game or a, a, an older model of what we have in game for the Anderson extractor, which is only the second YouTuber I've seen actually using one of those. 
Um, the first one was actually using a Kuhn model of the uh, X-Tractor. Uh, these guys, it, it was green, so the X-Tractors don't always come in red, it's just in Farming Simulator, that's all they come in. But nice to see one in action, else, uh, outside of Farming Simulator. <laughs> Um, I was paying attention to their their rake, aka windrower, and we are getting that particular model in the um, Vermeer expansion coming out later this month, which I believe they've released the stats on. And um, while we're talking about that, this is our equipment. It is, it's about that width. Um, needs a lot more horse, it needs about 80 horsepower to run it. But, uh, I may sell that one and uh, get the Vermeer one. Uh, p partly because, hey, it's new DLC and I paid for it, so I should use it. And partly because I found that the one we're using has a couple of annoyances, one of them being um, the working width on one side isn't where the equipment point ends. So it, it would be like, um, you know, I've, I've got the header here along the edge of the crop, but it's only harvesting from the top of the ladder to the right so it's missing a strip and you're constantly having to try and position it so that it's actually catching all the grass that you want to uh, um, row so partly because new and shiny and partly because I'm not entirely happy with the one I've got on this game but I was trying to avoid using the standard go to green double windmill thing that pretty much everybody uses as starting equipment yeah, let's use different stuff so Yeah, so once this field is harvested, we'll grab the straw. I must admit, I was... It's crossed my mind that it might be useful to have a loading wagon. However, you know, it's kind of a mixed thing. Our grass fields are going to be right next to the cow barn. So just being able to run out with a loading wagon, pick stuff up and just drop it in. I kind of like that idea. The thing is, is that a loading wagon takes... A cheap loading, loading wagon will carry about 20,000 litres, whereas uh, that's two bales. Or three bales. And so... I can move 10 bales at a time. Um, I'm kind of inclined to do that. Especially, you know, collecting straw from here. How are we doing? We're at 86%. So we nearly made a loop. Oh, we have made the lap. We just hit 90%. But yeah, just bailing up this field and then just grabbing the bales and moving them all in one swift run rather than uh, you know, taking 20,000 litres in and then another 20 and another 20. It's yeah, going to take time. So we didn't make a full loop.
but it was close, so yay for that. And those, you know, the three fields to our right, plus this one. As we expand the farm, all, all other fields are going to be much further away, so it just makes sense to have something we can move. Lots of product with. I could go for a bigger um, grain cart. eventually and I will probably get the Anderson bale lifter or bale collector at some point just because it's so much easier collecting bales with that than it is picking them up with a front loader and doing it that way Cheers over here. Not that. That's the mower. That's the baler. Lots of green stuff and a tractor that should be green and is well, could be green but isn't. Well, yeah, we kind of miss that approach. The other week I was talking about um, CMT Software's Fent Favorite 800, which we used for a time on Oakfield Farm, and I mentioned that he hasn't produced that model for F FS22. This week he did release the 900. Um, so it, it's kind of an older, 1990s I think it is, lower horsepower big frame tractor. Um, the 800, initially we were using it for um, forestry and pretty much didn't need a weight on the back because it's it was that long a frame and heavy. Um, the downside with it being a big heavy framed tractor is that, um, well, it doesn't have much in the way of a turn radius but that's kind of not a bad thing so I've added the 900 to the mod list for this game and um, if it comes up for sale we might end up buying one I do need a second tractor Um, sometimes yes and no. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more realistic. Sometimes I, w I will tab between vehicles on occasion because, you know, the Land Rover's down at the store. So I'll tab to the store and I'll, um, I'll just get a worker, set up a worker to travel. But yeah, I and, ev and eventually when I've got 20 pieces of equipment, there'll be a lot more tabbing, but uh, kind of for now I forget about it. Alrighty, let's get this thing set up. So, Now, unfortunately, this baler is 98% full of grass. 
93% full of grass. Uh, engine's on. Uh, don't have to unfold it. Do have to lower the thing. Do have to turn it on. And we will pull forward slightly. It's converted the entire lot into straw. That is quite amazing. Okay, follow me. Um, it works, but you have to press the, um, for me, it's right control and F. You have to hold it until it plots a course to the vehicle you want to follow. Um, that's caught me out a few times with this particular iteration. In, in 17 and 19, you just press control F and it immediately targeted the vehicle in front of you and you were good to go. But uh, for 22, there is a delay while it builds a path to the vehicle that's in front of it. So if you press control F and tab to a new vehicle, it will not start following. So just something to be aware of. Okay, and this is why I want another tractor. Because we are eventually going to have to empty this. And I don't have a tractor available to bring the grain cart over here. So yeah, going back to the the farming simulator wheel, the farming simulator wheel has two joysticks on the um, uh, on the steering wheel itself, um, which in Farm Sim 17 were configured. One was configured to move, so you can move forward, backwards, and sideways, and the other one was configured to change your viewing. So just by using those two joysticks, you could you know, jump out of a tractor and just keep your hands on the steering wheel and continue moving. Um, unfortunately, the way I've got this setup configured, um, when I get out of the, contra the, the tractor, I have to use the keyboard and mouse for walking controls. Okay, let us get that to about 180 degrees and go. So the nice thing about straw is the bales are absolutely enormous. Um, we're running 180 centimeter bales. Um, normally, if you want silage, you need to limit yourself to 150 to go with most of the wrappers, 150 for rounds. Um, the basic balers, um, so things like the fast bale, the Vicon fast bale and the class round baler are limited to 125s or the class round baler wrapper are limited to 125. Um, let me put that on cruise control for a moment. Uh, let's go bales. So the Pottinger is 125, that's a, a 125 with wrapping. This does all three sizes, 125, 150, 180. But if you want to use a wrapper, oops, wrong button. If you want to use a wrapper, which is the next along, this wrapper and this wrapper are limited to small and mid-sized bales. So the only time you would create huge bales the 180s for round or is it 250s for um, square is if you want hay or straw you can get away with the biggest bales however we have the Anderson X tractors or the, the round X tractor which does allow you to wrap the biggest round bales and the square extractor does allow you to wrap the biggest square bales. So we have no qualms about using the biggest bales available. Which makes for less lifting and carrying and what have you. So I'm good with that. 
uh, I have seen a bunch of people, oh, I'm going to make silage bales. Oh, let's make 180 centimetre bales. Not going to fit in your ba in your wrapper. Okay, we're going to have to jump out here. And you've stopped. Turn off the worker. Drop the baler. And let's go get the thing. And at this stage of the game, I'm also not using autoload trailers to do much of anything. Um, eventually, when you've got 10 fields on the go and it's all happening, um, you know, oak field farm towards the end, I'm harvesting one field, I'm plowing another field, I'm cultivating another field, and I'm seeding a fourth field. Um, yes, I'm going to be using workers more often. I'm going to be tabbing between the tractors because I am... I'm more a case of managing the workers as I, than I am being the farmer. And... Um, and then I am using autoload on the bales because, frankly, driving out into a field of 200 bales and loading them individually on a bale trailer while it's realistic and I can do it frankly I'd be paying a worker to do it and the workers in farm sim don't so at that point I'll enable auto load on a trailer and uh, just drive around a field grabbing the bales off it however my preference would be to use something realistic so to have one of these do I have the other Anderson trailers? No. Um, but yeah, having one of these to pull my bales off the field and I can just drive around the field and grab them as I go. Um, and it's it's a real life piece of equipment. So it's, it's not entirely suspending um, realism. Uh, that bale doesn't. It, it creates rows of bales, and I actually I, I prefer it to the square one. Um, this this one you load them on the back, and then to unload it tips to about 30-45 degrees, and just pushes them off the back into a row. This one here stacks. Um, I don't think I have another stacker, but this is the bale trailer I have. It does have an auto load. Um, function but I don't have that switched on it's free to add it to the trailer but at this time I'm manually loading the bales just because oops sorry now our rows of silage bales are neatly uh, rowed up because I use the extractor to create them so that's it's not a function of bail. Collecting, stacking, loading, whatever. Oh! But all of those bales are 180 centimeter round bales, which we uh, ran through the Anderson. Oh, and guess what? I'm not in America, so I shouldn't have taken that turn nearly so tightly. Oh, come on, dude. AI traffic is a little bit annoying in that it will stop right in front of you. Can I go now? Yes. Goodness, we're at half a tank of diesel on this. Not a big deal. And this tractor is, being our only tractor, this tractor's set up for crop care. So we've got the precision farming crop sensors on the mirrors. 
and I am running narrow tyres on it most of the time. I think this particular tractor, I haven't bought any bigger tyres at this point because we haven't hit the point of the year when, when I own it that I am in need of uh, vast amounts of traction which the narrows can't overcome. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, drop that one. Uh, I was kind of happy to uh, have this one available on uh, store sales the other week. I had mm, probably erroneously um, decided to go with the Massey Ferguson 6S and it just didn't have the power to uh, haul 100,000 litres of uh, silage. Oops, let's turn that on, I'll fold that back. So we did need something with a little bit more horsepower and also it was having traction issues as well so I had to put wide tyres on it but that thing came up and it sort of, you know what, I've used the 6S as the my starting tractor in practically every series I've started so far in Farm Sim 22. Personal series, not published series. So uh, it's time I used a different tractor and I don't think in any of my... Uh, streamed series which date back to 2017 or 2018 maybe um, I have ever used a Deutzvar on one of the farms I can't remember whether they used a Zeta or an Ursus on uh, one of the Eastern European maps I played that was fun But I tend to you know, distribute the vehicles I end up using so that I'm not always driving the same vehicles every year. I mean obviously in, in cases I will be driving the same um, the same manufacturer but the individual models will switch it around. So, you know, last week, last series, we were running a big case. Sorry, a big class tractor, nine nine forty. Probably not going to be running a nine hundred series class this year. But that doesn't preclude me running a six hundred or a Zerian or something like that. Um, we did use the Valtra G very heavily last series. So since there are no other Valtras available except for the older models, probably not going to see a Valtra on this farm, which is probably the first time in many, many series that I've run that I'm not going to have a Valtra fe featured at some time or other. Now maybe if we get a Valtra pack in the future I might run one and for some reason it's not telling me who that was who's following me or s yeah, I've got a feedback issue with uh, with the followers and stuff so thank you to whoever followed or subscribed Draw e count a little. My rows on this field are not entirely uh, straight, it would appear. Yeah. 
not too much of an issue, I would say. 